one day though. One day. I couldn't wait till I had reading glasses. As a kid, I wanted glasses. Yeah, I wanted to. I, I, I don't know why. why. Because I didn't want to be a dweeb. No, they like, look, oh, you four eyes out there. Especially reading glasses. <laughs> See someone reading something and take it off. And... Remember when four eyes was an insult? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. It's Ethan Corbin. I'm Golan. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. It's Nothing so you can juicy. Hang out on Patreon, follow us to the camera, ring the bell, and get to one. Follow us on the first oh. channel. Wow. Dang. The bell. Did your hand come out okay out of that? <laughs> oh, Christmas we. Oh, Christmas we. Christmas. Quit? Quit with. Quit with we. That's how you'd say it if you had a, a lisp. Oh, quit with the wee, wow. oh, quit with the wee. Really racist to people with it. lists. Racist to people <laughs> with lists. <laughs> uh, today we're doing a little information video. It's called Bachubali. The Jewish movie. No, the world's yeah. tallest man. M monolithic statue. I think we've heard about this. Do you, is that The world's right? tallest monolithic statue. Whenever I hear monolith, I think about the opening of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Why? Because it, well... I actually, what I think about is um, your mother. No, the Mel Brooks movie, The History of the World Part One. Oh, when no, they it's start. Part two. I think I it was think... The History of the World Part One. There is no part two. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, okay, I couldn't remember. From but it. it starts with this monolithic thing, like on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they all start worshiping it, and then they start doing this. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, it's stupid and fun. <clears throat> so there's a little information really I'm guessing about that. I think I've heard about. I think India has like this tallest statue in the world of something, something, something. I don't know if this is it, but I think we saw it in one of the information movies. So All it's right. Just a little info video. Here we go. Penis. Sorry. Penis. I guess that's, that's a penis. <laughs> Never seen one of those before. History finds home in a land as old as India. In a small town amongst the rocky hills of Karnataka lies the ancient town of Shravanabalagola, a town that has a heritage of over 20 wow. centuries and is one of the most prominent centers of Jainism in the hey. world. That's Epitomizing cool. the myths and legends on the top of the Vindigiri Hill stands the most astounding statue of Bahubali. Of that out of a single granite stone, this magnificent what? structure is the world's tallest monolithic statue. The statue is 58.8 feet in height and dates back to 983 AD. Dang, from a single stone? It is surely a wonder of history. Its record stands as tall and pious as the great Bahubali himself. Legend has it that Bahubali was the son of Rishabha, the first Tirthankara of Jainism. Repenting his war against his own brother, Bharata, Bahubali renounced his kingdom and became a Jain monk. He meditated in the standing position and attained enlightenment, and the statue represents That's this beautiful. ultimate. Practice. On top of a hill, wow. this entire, yeah, gorgeous. The statue presents Bahubali as a Digambara monk. One who has renounced all worldly attachments and material possessions. Bahubali, famous as Gomateshwara in South India, is in the very spirit of this heritage town. In the year Sumaru Savarada Muatar Varshara Hinde, Alakad Dandanaika, Mahapradani, Chavundanaya. Once every 12 years, this small town gets flooded with devotees and tourists from around the world. As it gets ready to witness one of the most magnificent events, the Maha Mastaka Bishop, wow. the anointing ceremony of the Bahubali statue. Dang. The most awaited event of the decade 
for the That's discerning town dweller and devotee alike. The Mahamastakubhisheka is around the corner. For over a thousand years, the legend of Bahubali wow. has stood witness over this so spiritual next one's in 2030? land, spreading the message of compassion and love, the very pillars of Jainism. The diverse landscape of India holds many secrets. Some Dang, secrets so tall gorgeous. that, that in fact, they are the world's tallest monolithic statue that is. That is gorgeous. Yeah, like, that's one of those places that when you go, you talk about for the rest of your life. And one of the absolute lesser known places in the world. Yeah. You know, but that is absolutely one of those is like, okay, you need to know about this place in India. That yeah. looks unbelievably like jaw droppingly amazing to see in person. Yeah, that I would love to because they said it's in Karnataka. Uh huh. Yeah, if if and when we ever get to go there, which would I hope we do, we would love, love to see I would love to visit all the states of India. Absolutely. Because obviously they're all so diverse and different and they all have something yeah. Enriching and and cool to show you, but yeah, that would be something that would just be extremely cool to go see. One, when are you ever going to see something like that ever? You wouldn't. Yeah, uh, something a massive one, not just the statue, but the yeah. The, the, I don't know if it's like a, um, a temple or right. What, what they built is. around it? That's obviously built at the top of this mountain. Yes, it looks amazing. Um, With that view, looks extraordinary. I was also like to race up those steps. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Also, one stone. That's that's mind boggling. So was that stone already part of the mountain and they carved it into it or There's did they a, break that stone gotta be up a, there? Gotta be a whole other video on the making of that because <clears throat> that's what I wanna know. Was that stone in the mountain yeah. or did that stone get brought up there and then worked on? That's extraordinary. Maybe it was alien. <laughs> if you know that reference. You're laughing too. <laughs> yeah. And if you do and you hate me, then you've already hated me. Yeah. So, well, what are you watching this for? You're blocked. <laughs> it's true. I'm just kidding. That I was I actually believe alien. But anyways, uh yeah, that was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I would love one, that festival seems awesome. Why well, and you that was so there's festivals because I know there's festivals that happen every year, but there's ones that happen every I guess this is twelve years. What's the significance years? of twelve know. years? There's got to be something in Jainism about twelve. Yeah, there's got to be something. Uh, that's my suspicion. Because in Christianity, we know there's like three and seven. Yeah, there's some. There's certain numerology within all religious people groups that have specific things that that matter and are conditioned to the moon and a particular calendar. So I would I would expect that to be something that's uh, comes from Jainism. Yeah, and, and let us know. And Jainism you, is the religion, correct? And where does that fall in, like Hinduism and? and well, it's Sikhism. originated in India. It's like that is one of the that is one of the beliefs that came out of like Sikhism is purely Indian in its origins. That's, gotcha. that's what I know. The differentiation, what the differential is in terms of the totality of what they believe, yeah, I don't know. Gotcha. I don't know. Interesting. That was really cool. We would love to go there. Um, so let us know more about it and um, more about any other things around India that are cool because we like to learn. We like India a lot. Yeah. <laughs> the more you learn about it, because it's, it's quite incredible. Like the, just the immediate thought of India when before you're ever introduced oh, to man. it. Oh, man. And then what we now know about it and how diverse it, its land is and people are. And, the analogy that comes to mind as you say that truly is in the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when Willy Wonka goes to the door and he says, what you're about to see, my dreams become reality and some of my realities become dreams. And they're all standing there, they don't know what they're gonna see and all they see is this tiny little door. And then when it opens, they're in Wonka land. Yeah. That is the difference of what you before you're exposed to India, you have this very small framework of what you think it is. It's very blasé, bland, another B word would be backdated, right? And then you discover it is an infinite realm of all things artistic, spiritual, cultural, uh, culinary. It's just an yeah. extraordinary place. That was cool. Yeah. Well, let us know other videos we should react to down below.
Tuk mata cerdik.